Hey, hi, hello there, it's Alicia, and I have a baby haul for you today. That's right, I'm going to be hauling all of the babies that I recently purchased. Uh, but, but, but actually, I'm just going to show you a, a small, a, a small haul that I, that, that I have. So, uh, I placed another order from ColourPop because I'm out of control, and I'm going to show you what I got real quick, and then I'm going to film another video, which I'm very excited about, and that's why I did my makeup uh, like such. Okay, so let me just show you. Um, I got a bunch of their eyeliners, which I'm wearing the eyeliner Exit on my waterline today, which is also a ColourPop liner. But I got a bundle of like five of them. And so these are them. These are the cream gel liners. They're about $5 a piece. They might have just increased to $5.50 because I think they, you know, just changed the packaging to be uh, instead of a white package with a little nubbin on the end to indicate the color like this. So this is um, in the color, um, I can't read it because it's worn off, but this is like what their packaging used to be. It used to have the little color indicator uh, and now the whole thing is the matching color. So this is in Best O. Oh gosh, it's going to be a whole thing. Okay, so these are retractable, and that's nice because they just, you don't have to sharpen them. And they, I mean, I think they go on pretty well on my waterline, and I like that I don't ever stab myself with the pencil remains from sharpening. This one is called Oomps. Oomps, 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 oomps. It's a bright orange. It's more of like, um, let me try and mess with my color. It's more of a poppy orange than the bright orange that it looks like here, which is more yellowy, and obviously that's more poppy in color. Uh, so that's oomphs. Oomphs, oomphs. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. This one is called Fast Lane, and Fast Lane is green, I hope. I feel like this is not what I ordered. Oh, it is. I didn't get the set. Okay. So that's like the deep foresty green, and it does seem to match the packaging pretty well. So did the first one, Besto. Oh, I remember why I put in another order. Uh, Kathleen Lights on YouTube um, had a section on the website where she had 50% uh, off her favorites. Well, that's interesting. Because of the light coming in, I can see like the... Uh, the component inside here and all of this like bottom area is a spring so it looks like the product is just in this top part from here to here uh, so that's that uh, this is in Venus these are very very creamy they go on without you having to press at all which is perfect for doing like the pop on the waterline and then the last one I got is electric daisy and this one is bright green, which uh, I'm pumped for. And I'm trying to show you how smoothy smooth it goes on. Ooh, creamy. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm excited about those. I'm going to stick them right in my drawer because I, I kind of go for those liners over everything else I have. I also got two powder cheek products I got and these are both from Kathleen Light's new collection this one is called my sun and stars this guy is not named what is your name I need space so let me take those out and destroy my packaging in the process they have a nice little it's very functional packaging this one looks to have a bit of a satin finish to it, and that's a pretty big size. Oh, she feels soft. That's what my finger impressions look like in there. And here's the swatch of this guy. Very nice. That one's I Need Space. Oh, I Need Space right there, and you can see the little bit of a sheen it has. Pumped! Pumped for that. Yes, cool, great. I am on a blush kick. I'm wearing Mojave Mauve by 
cover cover effects today um, and only the matte side but I just I just really am feeling the blushes lately uh, this one is my Sun and Stars and it looks much brighter than I thought it would be so here's and it looks brighter in person than it does on camp yeah that that kind of is what it looks like so uh, this one there you go this finger and I'll put it right next to I Need Space. It's got a bit of a golden sheen. If I put it there, can you see? Yeah, so that one's I Need Space. That one's My Sun and Stars. And yeah, it looks like it's kind of a poppy with a golden sheen. And this one seems a lot more matte, uh, satin versus sheeny. But here's the two of them together. Meep, meep. Yeah, that I feel like that's kind of an accurate translation. So there's those two. And then I've got, I'll pop those in some empty palettes. I got the Luxe Lip Lipstick from ColourPop still in What's Your Sign? And I think this is, this is really cute. This has, um, there's me, the little Scorpio. Uh, has little constellations on there. This is from her Zodiac sort of collection that she continues to collaborate with ColourPop on. And it's, um, I don't think I, oh, I do have one other of their Lux Liquid lipsticks, or Lux lipsticks, not liquid, um, that I got in a sale. And there are stars stamped in, and that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I am not ready for like lipstick gate to happen. But here's the tip. I'll take some pictures. And there are, there's a little linty guy on the packet or on the bullet. I never used to check for this stuff. I'll, um, I'll just use my iPhone camera to show. I never used to check for this stuff. Um, but then Lipstick Gate changed everything. Let me just see if I can just grab those real quick so you can see. All right. There's with the little fiber. Just looks a little. And I did just see something on the internet about there possibly being a connection between um, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and the ColourPop Lab. I didn't really know what to think about that. Let me try doing a video instead. Right. So the little fiber is on the bullet. Right there. Is that it? Yeah, there's just a couple little fibers, and there's actually a bunch um, in the very tip. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I'll investigate this further, which sucks because I wanted to swatch it, but now I'm not going to swatch it because, you know, I'd like to, um, I'd like to see if there's anything to this connection. It looks a little banged up. Okay. Anyway, that one is What's Your Sign by ColourPop, and I'm going to set that aside to investigate. Uh, this one is also Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. This is the liquid lipstick in Aquarius, and I've been wanting this because I'm on the nude train lately. Ooh, this looks pretty similar to what I've got on right now. Ooh, time to swatch it. This is the Ultra Satin Lip Formula, which I really like, and this is in her color Aquarius. The Ultra Satin Lips don't dry down, but they're opaque in coverage, very comfortable. They do transfer because they don't fully dry down. Just holding it so you can compare it to my lip that I have on now, which is from Suva Beauty, and it's just their nudist nude lip. Um, yeah, so that should not dry down at all, but that's Aquarius by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And then last but not least, in this little hurl, I have uh, the Sweet Talk palette. So this guy is um, supposed to be the, you know, color of the year, Pantone color of the year inspired um, coral guy. 
So this packaging is beautiful, at least the outside box. And ColourPop, as I saw with the uh, this one right here, the outside packaging was really cute. Uh, it looked like a little watermelon, and then they've got a little bit of that. But obviously, like if you look at this cardboard packaging compared, this is really beautiful. That's just kind of cute. Um, and I would say the most beautiful packaging that I own is by Kaleidos Cosmetics. Uh, they have the Deep Sea Luster palette, which is right here, and then the three minis that look like the Pat McGrath packaging, but for $25 instead of $125. So they have, in my opinion, the very best packaging of any indie brand, um, even, yeah, just any, any, any brand. I'm wearing this on today. I've got this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, uh, this guy, and this guy. Uh, and did I say that one? Yeah, I'm wearing a bunch of those. So prettiest packaging, but this, this outside cardboard packaging is, is very beautiful. It's got like little shinies on there. Very pretty. And then actually, look, they carried it over to the inside. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is probably the most beautiful packaging I've seen from ColourPop for sure because they still have like that foil on the flowers. Man, that's beautiful. Okay, so one of the reasons I was drawn to this is you know I'm a glitter girl and that's holographic. And then in here you've got um, more of these corally warm tones which I've been wearing. And then you've got uh, this one here in side to side and that is the suit. Uh, this guy right here. That's the Super Shock eyeshadow formula, but in a pressed format that hopefully won't dry out because, you know, with all the ColourPop pops, you, pots, you have to, like, tighten the lid so that they don't dry out. Um, and then there are two pressed glitters. There's this one in Early Morning and this guy in Prima Drama. So these just looked beautiful to me. And I'm not going to swatch them because I don't want to, like, get my grubby fingers in there. Um, but, but I am very excited to use it and I think the colors are just very soft and romantic and beautiful. So when I'm ready to dig into another new palette, that'll be one of them. I've also got the Kathleen Light Zodiac palette in my drawer here that's also brand new. So I'll just save those and use them when I get the chance to do something new. So... I don't know if I'll add it into this video, but I do want to check out this lipstick. And I'm going to also look and see where, maybe it was here for the T2 that I saw on my Instagram feed that there was possibly a link between the ColourPop manufacturing and Jaclyn's lipsticks, or just that this, their lab was having the same kinds of problems. I don't, I don't know. But let me, let me dig a little bit and just kind of see what I can find. And if I'm saying goodbye now, then thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope these little swatches were helpful. This is my baby haul. Um, and I'm excited about these. I really definitely want to play with these blushes. And I'll definitely continue to use this uh, ColourPop gel eyeliner formula because it's, it's great and it's so not expensive compared to the other eyeliners that are out there, like the Marc Jacobs ones get really great reviews, but those highliners are too expensive for me. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will look forward to seeing you the next time I turn on the camera. Bye! Hey guys, it's Alicia again. So, uh, my swatches are still on my hand. All I did was just wash, like, the inside of my hands, because I want to get rid of issues like this hair, which, I mean, that looks nothing like what was on the lipstick anyway. Um, but I wanted to just like wipe down my desk a little bit before I look at this lipstick a little bit closer and see what's going on with it. So this is the What's Your Sign by ColourPop. I just opened it in my haul. It's a cream or creme finish by ColourPop. Sorry about my nails. Um, and it, it had... After Lipstick Gate, obviously, like, I'm just checking out my bullets because I just bought a bunch of new lipsticks. And here, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So let me just open this and show you, hopefully, if I can focus, what I found on this lipstick. 
Okie doke, so all I did was just take off the cap. I'm just, I'm by myself at home filming on my iPhone. And I'm just gonna turn on, this is just natural light from the window here. And I'm gonna maybe turn on a couple of other lights and see if I can get some additional brightness to show you. Sorry about the, all the mess too, oh gosh. Well, okay, so here's the lipstick, um, the lid. You look in there it looks fine to me like I don't know what to look for there but here's the lipstick itself and you can see that I'm gonna be really careful not to touch the bullet the bottom looks a little bit messy not like awful necessarily but okay so here you can see those little dots um, which I think are just the air bubbles right from the component and it looks a little messy there. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks a little bit like it it got manhandled a tiny bit getting put into the component. But you can definitely see those little dots there and you can see where there's like little scrapey marks that appear to be, oh, fruit fly, fantastic, get out! That appear to just be from Oh my gosh, why am I shaking? Jeez. Um, yeah, just from having it tubed. So now looking at the tip, can you see the outline of those little fibery, hairy looking things? If I move my, okay, if I hold this and move my phone closer, I don't know if it'll focus. The goal would be that it does. Yeah. So you can see the outline of those little fibers. And I'm not, I don't know that that's harmful. I did read Christine from Temptalia, her blog. Um, and I saw, you know, she has seen issues like this over time. There's, right, focus please. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, you'll see all my mess um, because I just kind of wanted to not spend a bunch of time waiting between unboxing this and filming it. All I did, like I said, was just I wiped down this surface here uh, and I washed the inside of my hands. I didn't wash off the swatches. Like, what's, what's going on there? Oh, that's not, she's not looking too cute. That's, that's not ideal, right? I hear thunder maybe? What's going on? Yeah, all right. What is going on? All right, I can probably get a little bit more light over here too. So let me just leave that there for a sec and uh, I'll be right back with more light and we'll see if that helps. Okay, so yes, I did have another light. And uh, let's, let's kind of zoom in. I was very careful not to like touch the dang thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can uh, see the junk on the tip. There's a little bit of imperfection on that flat edge of the bullet. Just gonna try to, I feel bad that I don't have a microscope like Raw Beauty Christie, but that looks like a black fiber to me. And does that look black to you? Let me move this out of the way. So you got a white backdrop. I like, doesn't that, I'm gonna be really careful. Doesn't that look kind of like a black fiber right there on the tip? Let me get closer and still focus. Let's try. Yeah, yeah, man, that looks, that looks like a black fiber, right? But is it in there or is it just on there? And clearly I had no intention of like getting this specifically for that reason because I made this order several, 
several days ago because it's shipped and I didn't pay for expedited shipping or anything. Um, and I only just yesterday, I think, saw the post on Trend Mood suggesting that the ColourPop lipsticks were having the same kind of issue and possibly linking the two together. So, yeah, you can see it like on the edge there. Is it just one though? And some holes? Man, I really wish I could get a close up on that. I wonder if we have a magnifying lens here. I don't have like a microscope, but. How weird. Interesting. I'm not like mad, um, but I'm definitely interested and I'll, I'll certainly contact ColourPop um, and just reach out about this. Do you think I should try and mess with it? Should I try and get the hair out or, or what? Do you think I should play with it and check out whether there's more of that junk in there? All right, I'm just gonna pull it up to my face and look at it a little bit and see if I can see anything else that's that's maybe difficult to see on camera because it's just kind of hard to, um, to focus. Uh, this is an iPhone 8. And I just, if there's like a better way to do this, I just, I don't know what it is because my, I do have a camera, but the battery is dead. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try and look at it and see, and see what's going on. Hey, okay, so uh, this is the same ring light. This is the same view. Um, I, yeah, I'm just gonna look at it a little bit and see what I can see. The tip looks like a little mushed. Oh, and I guess you didn't really see that before, but there's like a white, there are two white fibers on the side and they do look to be kind of embedded in there. Three, there's one on this side too. All right, let me put up a dark back, ooh, dark background so you can see the white ones. And um, I'll just I'll just find something dark. I'm gonna set that right there. I'm gonna find something dark, set that down, and then show you the contrast of the white fibers against a black background since we were easily able to see the black fiber against the white background. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my hope is that this gorgeous Kaleidos palette is a beautiful enough background that's dark enough for us to see the white fibers on the edge. So there's one that's uh, center frame. And then there's one that's sort of like top left. I don't want to point at it because I'm looking through my screen. And so I don't want to like get my depth perception all messed up and like touch it by accident. So there's those two. See that one on the top there? And then straight on between uh, the center two stars that are at the top of the bullet. Okay. Oh, and then there's one sticking out on the side. Do you see that? So there's another one. Hmm. All right. So is that like three? And then is that also? No. Those other spots there that you can see on the right side, those just look to be like scuffs on the bullet as opposed to fibers or hairs or anything. Same with those ones there. Those look like just scuffs, not, not hairs. And then, yeah, you can see it sticking out now on the left, which is interesting. And then now I think I just see one here on the top right, which might be back around to the other side where they started. Is there one right there up at the top or is that a scuff also? Let's bring it a little closer. Let's see, see those are scuffies, scuffies, but a hair there. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's see uh, if I can pull a little closer. Ooh, that made me nervous. I don't wanna go too close and like screw everything up. All right, sorry, just messing with my focus. 
because I want to look at the top like the tip there so you can see the edge isn't like perfectly smooth on that top edge there and it looks just like I don't know if it's just bubbles but there's the um, that little black fur hair piece on the tippy top it does kind of look like it's just laying there on the top and then a little bit of roughness maybe doesn't look perfectly smooth and there's yeah huh very interesting I don't know should I play with it more So, I don't really know whether this is still a thing, whether anybody cares. I'm not sure. Uh, I really like Kathleen Lights, um, just as a general fan. I love ColourPop as a brand. Uh, obviously, everything I bought was just, you know, my money. Um, yeah, I just did a video yesterday where I played with all my single eyeshadows, um, most of them being from ColourPop, and just kind of duped out a bunch of other makeup, like eyeshadow palettes, and I really like their eyeshadows. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff from them. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm not... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to do with it. I just put it back in the box for now. Um, because I want to wait and see whether I should dig into it or I, I, ju I just don't really know yet. So yeah, uh, that was interesting, I guess. Um, yeah, leave me your thoughts about that and let me know if there's uh, anything else that you would like to see. Um, it's not like anyone could really control their content being you know, influenced by the lipstick stuff because you don't know whether you're going to get a lipstick like that. And I certainly didn't expect to when I opened up my other haul a couple days ago looking at my new MAC lipsticks, the Feeling Sedimental and the Naturalist from the Electric Wonder palette or collection. They were fine, but I did check them uh, because, you know, lipstick eight. And I got a new lipstick from Flower Beauty that I opened as well. Check that one out. It was fine. I think it's just going to be kind of a habit now. So maybe this is just like not even interesting because everybody's doing it and you're like, oh, this is really common. But I don't know. And I didn't swatch it. I don't know if there are any texture issues. And I didn't pull off any of the hairs yet to see whether they're just on the surface or whether they go any deeper. But there were both white hairs and black ones. Definitely some like textural discrepancies. Like I'm not going to call it something it's not. Definitely some color texture discrepancies on the outside, and um, yeah, cur I'm, I'm curious. Um, yeah, Inter interesting. I don't, interesting. 
by the way, in case you're curious, yes, there are animals in this house. I have this color hair. Uh, I do have a couple of grays, but they're straight. I have a pit bull and I have um, a gray cat here, but no, no one with white or black hair. Well, I guess mine could pass for black, but I did, I did, you know, it, it was on there. You know it. You saw it. Okay. I've been Alicia. You've been great. And I hope to both see you in the comments and see you the next time I turn on the camera. See ya.